Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the finale of Banjo Kazooie. From the game Industrials. <laughs> uh, so we went to the fiery furnace that Matilda put us through here. Say to me yeah. until she said, uh, hey, you didn't finish on the witch. You need to go back and get her. So, <laughs> Fern tried to hold that yeah. for all for a bit and go take her Matilda once and for all. Oh, here's the other cauldron pot. This music this right, this right here is so spooky. Yeah, I love it. It fits well since we're near the end. Actually, I'm here. As you can see, you need 810 notes to open that final note, note door. Yep. Doesn't, doesn't matter come out here with less than 810 notes. What about to beat the witch? Oh, you need 810 notes. Aw, oh, fuck! Yep, time to search for more notes. And the room that uh, Matilda used, which, well, now it's not working anymore. And yes, there yeah, are, we got two more. That room is so irrelevant. We got two more puzzles to do. One that will get us which we need 25 shikis. But there we go. Oh, I love that picture, I'm not gonna lie. And she's still I'm here. sad to stay down there, you'll stop, because I'm safe here at the top. <laughs> and so good to see you. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, lose some weight, Grinzelda. No offense. Uh, before we talk to Dean Pot here. 354. Yeah, certain amount of notes are needed to uh, get the bigger versions of these, which will max out your uh, gold feathers, blue eggs, and red feathers. Yeah. And this one here, the AA2, was... that's our double health we need, which we need four more chickens. Oh my goodness. This made me think of the time when I, uh, on my version was playing this, man. I was one note sure of getting that goddamn upgrade. I was pissed off, man. Well, she did dig up her nose before and threw it on the ground, doing that cut. Oh, yeah, it was a oh, little bit. Oh, you got two G's left. Well. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Yeah, so I got to say, you. You you don't have to get the last two jiggies. You can straight two jiggies if you want to. Alright. But if you don't ow, with my tongue. Um if you don't uh get them all, then Mumbo won't show you about those secrets and we'll stop and swap eggs and ice key. Alright. But yeah, man, on my original let's play this, I came here with the eight hundred A one note. Because the click clock would, that's why. But luckily for me, I'm, I I know where most of the notes is now. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, well, the only way to yeah. get up is to, yeah. well, hop in there. It may be nasty. Yeah, because like, I don't want to jump in. Oh, it, now she's saying it. I don't want to jump in there. <laughs> My father's going to get dirty. Yeah, but you have to pet butt, so that works. <laughs> All right, blast this way, Dean Pot. Going up. I never respect that Dean Pot's betrayer. Matilda, shut up. <laughs> She's not talking yet. I told her to shut up already, for fuck's sake. Now it's time for the final fight against Gruntilda. And there are about four, five phases in this fight. And this is the yes. first one where she's just going to rush at you. Because very easy phase. Just wait till love this music right here. Just wait till her broomstick uh, wears out. And you're a little peck me ass. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, this, this fight right here was, was hard as shit back in the day. Yeah. In the 64 version, I never beat her because I always had trouble this fight. When I played the 360 version, I was able to win all the So, yes, I actually. Finally beat the sandwich for the first oh. time on the N64. About 20 or so years later. Oh yeah, like oh. like Shaka Carboy. <laughs> well, you'll be you'll be next to me I guess. I look forward to watching that. Yup. Yeah. Oh yeah, they'll look like part five, I think. Yeah, they're working the treasure show code. That's the last of Shets, lately. I love her laugh. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> uh, this attack you need to use both feathers to counter against. And I pressed the wrong button. Not a gold feather. Yeah, that was Tower Trot. That was a that was a good there. Oh yeah, um, there. You, you can't afford a spell, by the way, no matter what. No, that will hold me. There, there was a glitch I think uh, Game so Quick did to counter that without having to use gold feathers. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I think it has to. Some can that can take a hit without using the glitch. <laughs> Oh yeah, there are eggs, feathers, and gold feathers around here. If you uh, avoid it without using the gold feathers. If you ever uh, need to restock on that stuff, they will reappear again throughout the, uh, the battle. But yeah, after you finish up one phase, run so that we'll leave a honeycomb down there for you to recover your health. I'm just taking two many hits here. But Capital B wouldn't do no shit like that. You had to be perfect at that at the final boss. Cause yeah. you can't get yeah, you. He won't give you no help whatsoever when you fight him. Yeah, I've been about that doing our recordings in the Mugley playthrough. She did fucking around here without trying to aim things. Fucking hell! I, I did that a few times. <laughs> yeah, she really just made those fireballs. I'm gonna get closer to beating her up for the first time. It's, it's really fucking hell. It's a freaking habit, I can't help it. Oh yeah, fun thing. Yeah, fun thing. If you know where Grunty's gonna stop at, you can easily cheese this. Yeah, it does help. Yeah, I see Steve already threw that also. There's your gold feathers. Now we're on the phase three. I could've sworn the freaking spell face through that wall. Yeah, it looks like it did. So, phase three. Oh yeah, the this, beat bomb shit. This, in my opinion, that, okay, that was bullshit there. Well, well can't be helped. Um, this, in, in my opinion, this is probably the more harder phase to get through because you have to make sure you, you hit or tilt or that's gonna happen. Yeah. Miss. And you, and you're gonna waste a lot of feathers doing so, especially if you take too long on this day. Peace. Yeah, that's why there are feathers down there in case you recover some. Got, got a hit though. Right on the hand. Can I hit your arm there? What's the other I hit your boob? Oh! I probably might hit there, but I should hit there, back of the head there. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I love how if you look at the layer from the outside, the top of the layer doesn't look all that huge, but when you on it, it's huge. Yeah, because it didn't really show most of the what's still the add on, but then you see this here. Really Yo. high up. Is there a hit? I think it's, a, I think it's just you just get a guy four hits and move on to the next phase. Unfortunately, though, never mind. Oh, yeah, there, never mind. Son of a bitch, hold oh, yeah. still. Oh, yeah, when Grunty uh, shoots those fireballs through you when you're on ground, just go to the opposite direction, oh. she'll miss you always. Well, I took a dive bomb there, that didn't work. Bear down, bear down. <laughs> this ain't crap, <laughs> too. <laughs> oh, no, it ain't. Whoop. Yeah, this, yeah, this is a level called bear down. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. And death. Oh. Well. Yeah, so that happens. You have to start the fight over again, and of course you can restock your uh, your uh, stuff here if you if you, if you uh, run a little short. I don't want to do cut here because I don't want to show. Yeah, the same this is back when they they really. They really want you to be perfect at the ball fight back in the day. Oh, yeah. Now, who's responsible? I say, who's responsible? Who's responsible? Who's responsible? <laughs> <laughs> so, back here, we had at least three hits with Matilda. 
There's the forfeit, finally, bitch. Oh yeah, I was literally bopping my head to this music <laughs> while ago. <laughs> I can see why. And now we're in the phase four, where she now has a barrier. So, time to drop down. Deal. The Adachi Fires will be until the Jinjos come out. This part's not that bad. It's not. As long as you get hit by the fireballs. Alright. Jinjo! The EV never see this Jinjos in, in the in the Western world, they 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 can still show up. Oh yeah, you know they'll save them, yeah, you can still get them. But you still gotta learn to fight the the fight move though, regardless. And go feathers and the eggs. Hey, it hit me. So. Yeah, you can shoot you can shoot the eggs in there pretty fast. I used to do that shit one at a time. And the last one breaks her broom. Still hard barrier though, and probably thumbnail comments. That's in peace, boom stick. Thumbnail. Yep, there it is. But she was getting up. We're missing one Jinjo. Oh. Yeah. Just the boy. Anyway. Wait for it. There he is, the blue Jinjo. Oh! Jinjo. Like, Terminator. And we had to put in a lot of aids in the sand. This is where I. This yeah. is, this part's and hard. This is, Fuck. This is where it can be called hard. Son of a bitch. Hey, no. Hot. Yeah, she, she's going all out on you. I think it'd be best so when she does her special spell to use go girlfriend. probably the best thing to shoot Spanx about that time. <coughs> yeah, because she's just literally scorching me right now to death. So fuck it. Uh oh. Here comes the safe state. Uh, get used to this for like the next few minutes, cause uh, I look at the shit beyond me like, all the times. Oh my goodness. That was already one. Now that has yeah, two. Get, get the counter going, cause you're gonna be counting plenty. Two. Three. Hey, this is paper for counting marijuana stick. Four. So pissed off again. <laughs> That's me time. Fucking hell. <laughs> I think you're a little head sometimes. That's five. Six. I think he's maybe a little head. I'm at 13, 14, 13, 15. Uh, I think you're like a few seconds behind then. Yeah, we. Got it. Uh, 13, 24, 13, 25, 13, 26. Fuck! Yeah, I'm there right now. Don't. <laughs> I do cut short. I just. We actually, should be at ten by now. <laughs> they were about there. Damn it! I was really getting salty during this. <laughs> Man, I mean, I did record this just this morning. Fuck it, hell. <laughs> Here they go off. I should have bit the gold feathers. I thought, okay, there, one down, three to go. Yes, I'm saving, I don't care. <laughs> you man, me, I don't care. I'm that was save number two. Don't! Oh! Cheap shot. You look at Tom. Oh, fuck it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, that ain't closed yet. I thought shit closed. There we go. Okay. Oh, my God. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. You had to stay safe there. <laughs> kind of bad one because I was going to hit right oh my there. Oh, dude. You had a safe state. Yeah, I had a bad You did admit a bad safe state. <laughs> the fuck. 
can I get a response to this whole fight? I gotta come back, I just can't think of the words right now. Yes. Mm. Holy shit. <laughs> Toad is lost all this bullshit back in the day. I got something to say. Oh! <laughs> May you rest in peace, sir. <laughs> yeah, I know he passed away, so I want to respect him for that one. But yes, I agree, Gilbert. Yeah. What an asshole. Red Solda is. Yes, <laughs> she is. That's how I feel about this fucking fight. I got three done now, one to go. So how many times I died now? Like 12, 15? You guys should be keeping count. I got a lot of count. What the fuck, guys? Sounds like. What? <laughs> Maybe it's. Oh, I lost count one with me, so I said something about, uh. You might, you might, you might, I'm gonna be ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, we're done. Now we done. Jeez. Only four minutes later, I'm getting hit by an asteroid fireballs. Oh, yeah, that apparently oh, saves us. Oh, you for the it's... best part of the game? That the health part saves us since I was so low during this fight. Yeah, but here we go. Time to whack the slam against the switch. One. Hmm. Uh, two. And, uh, three. Uh, three. Four. Five. Four on the ground. Well, six. Until the still save seven. Eight. Yes. Nine. Nine's not enough for Gruntilda? Oh, only has so much. He puts up a good fight! <laughs> Ten. And down, Jill. Oh, wait. <laughs> now we're good. We're okay. She's like, if I go down, I'll be, but she missed. <laughs> Alright, Gruntilda. Have a nice fall. <laughs> only because it's true. And. <laughs> Nice yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that might have been like an instant kill or something. That'd be really bullshit then. But I don't think they'd be that mean putting that in. Oh, you can see the uh, the freaking hole under that uh that that uh boulder a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but she stays here for the next two years till Banjo Tooie comes out and her sisters break her out and save her when she's all bonus. Nothing but bones. Wait, she's down there in the spin-off, Crunchy's Revenge. Oh, yeah, it's That game was not that great. Eh, she looked alright. You had to do a like, very little backtrack in that game. Speaking of that, uh, apparently I learned that apparently somebody made, uh, it's actually an N64 remake of, of that spin-off. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Oh my god, look at that. Look at those dollars. Yeah, those are, uh... Yeah, she's got some long legs. Yeah, very Oh my Why <laughs> long? Now that's chicken legs right there. Bottles. <laughs> now everybody can celebrate. Oh, that's the vacation that Momo was talking about in Cook Clock Wood. Yep. Well, actually, the Beehive said it. Right. Suey. <laughs> You're not so dumb after all. <laughs> man, what's with the negativity, man? Uh, she just can't get all the bottles. And now I'm gonna see the rest of the cast. But, um, while, Dang we're, while everyone is uh, being appear, appear here, uh, let's get our final thoughts in. Yeah, it's been going on for a while. Um, so. Banjo Kazooie. Definitely a favorite childhood game, I bet, that I love. I you got a videotape of it before to watch it, to learn a bit more about the game somewhat, and then actually get to play yeah. it, which was very fun. Uh, never did beat the N64 version until now, but when I got to play it again on the Xbox 360, it was fun to play it again. Still prefer that, though, since you don't have to lose your notes in that game. But, either way, I'm, I was so happy to finally get to play this again. It really does bring some fun shots. You got a big butt. <laughs> yeah, don't try that guy's name with your butt. 
But, um, yeah, I did enjoy this one. I look forward to when they get Banjo to be out. Uh, it'll probably be a little while till it comes out on here. I hope they still do. So, we'll see what happens. Um, Celtics? Alright, so where to begin? Oh boy, so much to say about this game. Yeah, like Ross mentioned on his part. I too, this is one of my my childhood favorite games of all times. And boy, oh boy, I love this game so much. And how I got to it? Well, like I explained in part one of my let's play a bit. Um, when I went to Best Buy, right? Well, I wish I originally went there with my mom, and my sister, so uh. Cause we were trying to help my sister pick her things out to go to college, right? But the first thing I saw at Best Buy was Magic Kazooie. So I played it, right? And down like, hey mom, hey mom, you you gotta take me to Bop Bus uh to, you gotta take me to take me to Bop Bus so I can rent this game, right? And then when I read it, right? I put it I put this game like non-stop and I wanna turn the game on because how addicting it was. Anyway, I pretty I pretty much love Almost everything about this game, the story, the plot, the humor, a local around collecting jiggies, and yeah, it did have the, it did have the Amari C4 Bob, but I love the fact that when you collect the jiggy, they don't push you out of the world, so you can trigger the next jiggy mission. Yes, true, yes. And yeah, the final fight with Rotilla was fun as hell, but it was hard though. Yeah. Can't complain there. Still kind of but the downside was the quiz, the quiz part, man. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm my least favorite of today is Rusty Bucket Bay. Uh, now that's my now that's my uh, PTSD right there. The engine room, the oily water, you name it. I always suggest people when you go to Rusty Bucket Bay, go to the engine room first. Make that your first priority, otherwise you can make your life living hell. Bless you. Uh, let's just play the Xbox 360 yeah. version, uh, they can do the engine room last. Yeah, but I, I grew up with the N64 version, so I never did play the, the uh, 360 version. I only watched you play back in the day. Only because you know, when you die, you keep your notes. And all that yeah, other stuff. So that's, that's actually, the best part. It's basically like an easier version of it, in my opinion. Yes, I, so I'm stuck with the harder one, <laughs> with <Let's> say states. <laughs> That's all right though. I read that as mum, bro, from Thundercats. Yeah, mum, mum, and then earlier, yum, yum. <laughs> oh yeah, <coughs> great, great story. I love how you had to go out and save your sister and all, and um, it felt like um, Tumblr, not like the freaking air. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I know it's the pun. They never fully explained what took them so long on uh, arraying that machine. Well, basically, we had a good excuse. Yeah, that did. Because, yes. yeah, because it was a piece of shit. It didn't need time to be charged. But for the machine in the first game, did she was just in the she was just, she was in the uh, the transformation machine and nothing. Yeah, they just brushed it off. That was kind of confusing with that one. Yeah. So yeah, that's what you might have to say about Banjo and Kazooie. I still love it to death. I went, I went my playing it over and over and over. <laughs> I think right. I said enough. Right, so uh, BSL. Yep, take it away. Banjo Kazooie, definitely a very awesome game. Uh, going to my personal experience with this, I actually first played this at my cousin's house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I love the game, I did beat it while I was at his house, and uh, yeah, and the Zoe, awesome game. I don't think I really have much more to say about the Celtics' thing, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's maybe because I, 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 I play this game like non-stop, back to back. I can see why. I did through the opening. So, yep, that Cheeto's the last one. So, yep, we just got done finishing the cast after talking about our opinion on the game. And now back to the others, back to the beach, with also the Lady of the Melons. Yeah, the damn Lady And the Lolly. Damn. Hey, that's the Lady of the Melons, are we? 
Hey, Bubble got secret pictures. Bone brain. She calls Grunty Bone Brain and uh, Tui. Yeah, they kind of give you like a swirly. Oh, hey, guys, by the way, you got a second game coming out. Banjo Tui, which I was hyped for, by the way, back in the day. When I saw on the screenshot. Yeah. On uh, AUL. AOL. Yeah, I know the Tui version. I, I didn't get as far as from beating the. Well, I was on the I was on Dry Rocks the Bay. I think I had some trouble with that one. Man, yeah, oh. you had to back up that world like a bunch of times. Yeah, because I was under the underwater section and I got really lost. And then when I started playing again on Xbox 360, uh. Be good? What? He's saying it's better to any good. That's what Ben was saying. Oh! Banjo Kazooie Tui. Yeah, Banjo Tui sounds more. That's easier. a mouthful. Yeah, Banjo Tui is easier to say. <laughs> well, he is right about that because there's a lot more stuff to do with Tui. And I know the bad tracking. And it's more challenging too. And yep, um, he's going to show us, uh, I think, like three secrets. This is like the yeah. First one. Well, there's a reason why he's showing us all because, um, uh, well, interesting story, right? Originally, the only way to get the, uh, the eggs and the ice cream, you had to wait till Banjo 2 to come out, right? And you had to get to a certain point in the game where you need those, those eggs and that ice cream. Then you had to take the game out of the, uh, SD4 cartridge, out of the console, I mean, without turning the game off, then put the first game in the console and hit, and hit reset, and boom. You get the eggs and the ice cream. But the idea was scrapped because, um, let's just say, would have messed up our uh, our memory. It messed up the system's memory on that jazz. Yeah, it was a. It took a bit to work with on the form of the original. But on the Xbox 360 version, they kind of give it to you already. After, well, after you collect them in um, Banjo Kazooie. Because the eggs give you different attacks or. They give you a couple different attacks and some other things, and the huge ice cream gives you a giant, um... Uh, hey, look at that frame around that photo! I forgot what those pink creatures are called in Tui. She needed for Wumba's, uh, uh, hut. Hey, you missed the Jinjo! Cause the, uh, yeah, the giant ice cream there will help you get that, it'll transfer Kazooie into a dragon. Yeah. And also, you pretty much have unlimited fire eggs, but she can also. Oh uh, yeah, you did mention. Uh, oh yeah, you did mention uh, Heggy the Hen and Banjo Tooie. Oh, Heggy the Hen, that's right. That's her name. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, you, you see it for the couple eggs that she gives you. I do like one of those jiggy monk souls called uh, mentioned during uh, when you go into the temple. Just to make sure to get uh, the buyer purchases uh, <laughs> the jiggies. <laughs> Like, oh, See, okay. I love how Gasui wasn't know so much, and Mom was like, I'm not telling it. I'm like, please, Mom, will tell us something, goddammit. I don't want to wait two years for Banjo Tooie to come out. <laughs> Find out in Banjo Tooie. Okay, that part was mainly aimed at the audience, <laughs> not just at Kazooie. <laughs> so for now, let's just relax and enjoy the beach. And have some more bouncer going, I guess, okay. And there goes uh, Captain Blubber. Wahey! We'll see you in that jet ski after all. We'll see you in Giant Roger, uh, uh, Giant Roger Bay, uh, uh, Blubber. Yeah, he lost his money again because he gambled with it. <laughs> yeah, fortunately. Oh yeah, she'll, she'll say something different if you uh, beat the game with less than 100 jerkies. And Momo will not show you the, uh, the eggs and the ice key. Right. Alright, man, that's it. I was gonna show one more thing off here. Leave you with a game over. I was gonna go to save and quit, but it didn't show me, uh, the middle of Gruntilda into the, uh, transform. 
Oh yeah, yeah. You had to do that by the time you were uh, save Tootie from the uh, quiz game. Oh, that's why I missed my timing. Okay. Yeah. I could have actually gone to my other file and done it instead. Well, crap. Because basically, what happens is Gruntil will come out looking sexy. Yes. Mumbo will bring roses to her. Which should have been a good ending, by the way. And then Port 2 becomes a freaky huge monster. Yes. And it's got a bit of a pull and pick with Banjo, so. Oh boy. Could have been worse. Grunty and Banjo could have hooked up. Mumbo would have been. They would have been fighting over her. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> And Gasui would be like, I'm just going to stay on the corner. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> so, <coughs> with Banjo and Gasui all finished, another playthrough will be coming on to the channel soon. Uh, what will be doing next? Uh, well, you'll just have to find out. Mobile will not tell the find out in Banjo Tui. <laughs> well, I know you're covering that one. Yes. When it's available, or if he. Or it's something that miraculously finds a way to do on the Xbox 360, then sure. Yeah, I have to get the 360, and good luck doing that shit. <laughs> that's, that's really cheap right now. Yeah. Oh, oh excuse me. Alright, so I'll, we'll see you guys back for another playthrough on my end. And more uh, Persona 5 Strikers and Crash. It's about time. Later, yeah. folks. Later. Later.